Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the War Room. Today I'm doing another unboxing. This just came in today. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I'm doing my review or my unboxing, I should say, in my house because currently my War Room is full of stuff. I'm building the shield for EU-93. So let's get right to it. This is 1500 by Dan Versen Games. Now, those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a fan of Dan Versen games. I have several. I have. Uh, I just played um, Field Commander Rommel, um, like last night or no, two nights ago. And um, <clears throat> these are great games. Dan Versen games is actually known for solitaire games, but he does have a few that are multiplayer. Now, in this game, you are two to six players can play, and you're founding the Americas. Okay, you're conquistadors, and you're trying to gain points and resources. And it's a card-driven game. And um, But if you buy the expansions, you can then get the solo game cards with the expansions. So if you, uh, I think they have like England and what have you, some of the, uh, the Dutch or whatever, you buy those and then you get the cards that allow you to play solo. All right, now this game came out in 2017. I believe it was 2017. Um, and it's been regarded pretty well. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got in here. Excuse me. Should have brought my knife, I didn't think so. Like I said, I just came to the house from working outside in the war room. I throw this away. It's a beautiful cover. All right, you got some conquistadors there. All right. Dan Versen games have very good components. Um, components that are great, especially, specifically for uh, older people. Their components are usually pretty big. Uh, there's a rule book. The rule book is... Uh, let's see. Well, there's an exp explanation. It doesn't say pages. I think it's kind of strange. Um, but it's uh, that glossy print. Very nice. Uh, very beautiful. Now, <laughs> there's a tradition with the Inversion Games. There's always at least one rule that's like ambiguous in all of his games. There's always at least one. So it'll be a question of when I find it. Here is the map. Beautiful map. All right. Small fold out. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, let's see if we can lift you up a little bit here. Yeah, look at that. It's a beautiful map. Lots of tracks to keep track of everything. Very nice. Uh, it has the game turn sequence and all that, ha what have you. Um, very Dan Versen. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Got counter sheets. I don't know what those represent. On the back, uh, it says struggling. So these are colonies, and I believe uh, they can struggle and give you nothing on uh, a turn. Stars and some more colonies on the back. Same thing. And then that's it. You got a couple of decks of cards. Very simple components. The cards look really nice. All right. Let's see. I got one that says disease, and the other one says regional disaster. So um, there you have it. There's all the components. There's nothing left in the game. Uh, beautiful rule book, no page numbers on there. It's kind of weird. Um, but this is typical of a uh, Dan Versa game, that glossy look. This will get crinkled. I know at some point, like I said, I'll find that rule. There's always at least one rule. Every single one of their games has at least one rule that you just you don't understand. You have to go to Board Game Geek. Um, but I'll find it. I'll find it. Um, and that's it. This is for 1500 If you've played this game before... Please comment. Let me know what you think of it. Um, I will do a review as soon as I can if I get my wife to play it with me or my kid. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys. Have a good day.